everyone! Today I'm in India! Not really. I'm at my parents' house. But I thought, as we can't really travel at the moment, how can I improvise? And what is the most popular thing about India? The food! So I've come to my parents' house today so my dad can give us a cooking class on how to make vegetable and meat samosas. So come with us! Vegetable and meat samosas. We are. So every family event we have, my dad always prepares loads of Indian food, and I personally think these are better than restaurants. So today's going to teach us how to make them. So how do you start? Okay, we need flour, salt, and oil to make the dough. Yeah. We need to pour some salt into the dough, about a teaspoon, and then around an egg cup full of oil. Yeah. And then we need to knead it together. With your hands. With our hands. Okay, this is to, we need to mix the, the flour, the oil, and the salt together to make a breadcrumb. Yeah. Then we gradually add the water just until it gets to a. Like a doughy. A, a doughy. Texture. Yeah. A bit more water. I don't want to do this bit. I don't like getting my hands dirty. <laughs> So you want to add the water bit by bit, not Gradually. all at once. Yeah, you don't want it too much to start with. Okay, now we've got some sort of consistent dough material. This is around a pound of flour, half a kilo. And there we have a ball of dough. So now we need, what we need to do now is put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And what would you do, wrap it in like cling film or something? Yeah, which I've prepared earlier. <laughs> Shall I wrap that for Okay, mm -hmm. now wrap it up and we can, while that's wait, while that's setting in the fridge, we can make the filling. Okay then. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to prepare the filling. So we're going to do the meat ones in this one and the vegetable ones in this one. So should we set it to a medium heat? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, first of all, we need to put the oil. What oil are you using? Sunflower oil? I'm using normal sunflower oil, yes. So we've got about a pound of mince. I'm going to fry this separately. So add a little bit of salt with it. In here, we want, this is a, a medium onion. A full onion. Full onion. Okay, so we have two large carrots. Diced. Diced carrots. Yeah. In with that, we need a sprinkle of salt. This I prepared earlier. What it is, is fresh garlic mixed with fresh ginger and oil. And I prepare that in batches so that I can use it as and when I need it. That's about half a clove of garlic and about an inch square of ginger. I love garlic. I love you putting loads of that in. <laughs> So we fry that together. Also what I've prepared is frozen peas. a couple of frozen peas. These are diced potatoes which I've boiled already. Yeah. Overboiled actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw them in last. Were you supposed to overboil them or was that an accident? <laughs> it was an accident. Smells <laughs> no, good already. Is that the ginger I can smell? The ginger and the garlic, yeah. Oh it's making my eyes roll. <laughs> I shouldn't have got makeup on today. <laughs> From there, what we need is, depending on how hot you want it, I've got half a teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of garam masala, and two teaspoons of turmeric. And this is all going in the vegetable one? In you don't vegetable. put anything in the meat one yet? No, because I'm going to make the vegetable ones first, yeah. and then add the meat to the mixture okay. until it's done enough. This needs to cook for about 10 minutes. <laughs> then we will add the, the peas. I can't even see the peas. <laughs> <laughs> you might need a pair of goggles to make this. <laughs> now, I do like Got to there. add extra garlic powder because it gives you a different type of taste. Yeah. How are you doing on the video? I'm getting off fine actually, Father. Thank this is good. nearly done. Now to add the potatoes. 
And they have to pre-cook these. Yeah, but this, this is turning out a bit like mash. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that yeah. is like mash. <laughs> yeah, just do it gently. I'll just go and cook them by about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think this one's cooked now. Okay, when it comes to the last few minutes of when it's almost ready, I'll then add half a teaspoon of cumin powder and about two teaspoons of coriander powder. And then I'd add a big handful of fresh coriander. Mix it all in and then just cook it for another few minutes. Yeah, that's good now, really. So we'll turn that one off. Do I put that aside? Yeah. Now what I normally do is add a little bit of mint sauce. It just gives it a little, little bit of a minty taste. Yeah, so how about, much is that? About a tablespoon? A couple of tablespoons, depending on how much mixture you've got. How many would you say this would all feed? This will probably do around 30 samosas. Okay, that's done. And that's the samosa filling. So the next step. Okay, what we need to do now is get the flour out of the fridge, Amelia. I'll go on to that. <laughs> this is what we prepared earlier. <laughs> okay, so from here, what we need to do is dust the work surface that you're working on. Okay, so what we need to do now is roll it out. Break it up into balls about the size of a golf ball. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so now we have all the golf balls. So let's go and play golf, shall yes, we? Take them down the driving range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one by one, need some more flour. What are we doing? Rolling them out. Two rolling pins, have you? No. So from there, we need to put them on a hot plancher for about 20 seconds a side. Yeah. It keeps shrinking every time I roll them up. I think I need more flour. If you can continue doing that, <laughs> we don't want them to cook. All we want them to do is seal. Yeah, I'm not very good at this bit, I don't think. It keeps shrinking. Or is that all right? That's fine. Does it have to be perfectly circle? No at all, but they need to be a bit bigger. Just to seal for about 30 seconds a side. So how many samosas will this mixture actually make? Each one of these circles will make two. Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was just one each. And I'll show you in a moment how to do that. <laughs> So you're not trying to actually cook them through, it's just... No, this is, the reason I'm cooking them like this is just so that you can work with them later on. And what would you use if you didn't have one of these? You could microwave them for 30 seconds on full heat. So, now the paint is all rolled out, what is the next step? The next step is to make them into circles. Okay. So, I use a... Saucepan lid. Saucepan lid and just cut, cut around. And this is what you get with it. So would you like to have a go? Yeah, I'd love to. Ah. <laughs> Got my finger in there. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> right. Is this while cooking them first is better, just so they're easier to... You can work with this, yeah. yeah. If you try and do it with just the flour, it goes everywhere. I remember when we were rolling them out as well, they kept shrinking, so this would be a nightmare to do with them raw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that off while that's on. You've done that before, haven't you, Millie? Only once. Yeah, on take one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I was done there. And a good tip 
With all the leftovers. Put them in the bin. Put them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from there, we need to cut them in half to save time. And cut them all in half that way. So now we have a whole heap of smells of pastries. Wow, that's lovely. Looks actually professional, doesn't it? That looks really professional, Dad. Right, what we need to do now, get some water in a cup and add a little bit of flour to the water to make a glue. Mix it up. Like that. We can't use PVC glue. You can use um, Unibond, PBA, glue, wood glue, wallpaper paste. <laughs> Okay, so that's the glue. What I like to do is fold it over so it's there's a little seam there. Fill the seam with glue. Fold that last little bit over, like so. And I'll place that upside down. So just a little bit there? Yeah. And then put the glue on both sides. Yeah. That's it. Upside down and send it back to the wheels. Well, well done. That's our first go. Bravo. And that's our pile of cones. Cones. Now we need to get a frying pan ready to fry them. You can either use a chip pan or I like to shallow fry them in a saucepan. I'm going to put them on medium heat. While that's warming up, I'm going to start with the fittings. Mmm, I'm excited for this bit. Okay, so now we need to open the cone. Use about a dessert spoon full of filling, push it to the bottom, fold it over, use some of the glue to seal them up. And then I'll stand them up like so. That's four done. So I'll take it to the fryer. While these four vegetables most are cooking, what I'm gonna do is add the, the mint, the meat to the vegetable mix. And mix it all together. I don't know if you can hear on the camera, but this is making my stomach rumble. <laughs> do you want to do the same with these? Yeah. You continue with those, Amelia. I will turn these over. You did a great job, did they? <laughs> Thanks. So how long have you been vlogging for then, Millie? Only since January. You're doing a great job. Thanks. How many subscribers have you got now, Millie? Uh, 415, half time I checked. Really? You're not keratin then? <laughs> Count every day. <laughs> That's too much, isn't it? Though? Is it? Yeah. What do you say? That's all right. Put it back in there? Yeah, put it back in. Ignore me. This is a lot of effort, isn't it, to prepare all this? Yeah, but you know what's going on, you taste them. They are delicious. Yeah. So how do you know when they're ready to come out? When they're golden brown, like so this. So they're just about done? Yeah, turn them about three or four times, and that's done. And then what I'll do is put them on serviettes. And they're the vegetable ones. Those are the four vegetable ones, yeah. Lovely. And then for the meat ones. Give those about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Keep turning them until they're brown both sides. And voila, from that small amount of ingredients you get 30 samosas. There's loads there. Four, four vegetable ones for you and the rest for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. What would you put these with usually? I like to make a cucumber rati, which is cucumber, Greek yogurt, coriander. Like a dip. Like a dip, maybe with a lemon. Or you can use a sweet chilli sauce yeah. or garlic mayonnaise. Yeah. And Dad usually makes these for like a family barbecue and he does other types of Indian food to go with it and we just have a pick and mix, don't we really? Yeah. Should we tuck in? 
Yeah, let's try them. You first. Mm -hmm. Go for the crunchy looking one. Oh, are they going to be too hot? Try it then. Are they going to be too hot to eat straight away? Mm. That's amazing. Is it really? But it's actually amazing. Thank you. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you try one. Mmm. Oh, that is so tasty. That is the kind of Should Maybe. we give Maisie and your bum some? <laughs> so thanks for watching my dad's samosa lesson these are absolutely amazing so make sure you try and make them yourself if you do try and make them send us some photos so we can see how they turn out if you do want to see my dad in another one of my vlogs make sure you let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this video and it has helped you make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next friday Bye! It's gonna be so many Bye. papers! <laughs> okay, how do I start it? <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> start! I'm gonna be like that, bye. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> right, um. Okay, right, right, right. Okay. Right. So, what do we need to start? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the first thing we need to do is prepare the dough. So what do we need for that? <laughs> we Dad! <laughs> Stop this! <laughs> so what's the first step? Dad! It's <laughs> not <laughs> 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 like I've got it. Take it, Tim. So it's all stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not it's not all at this time.